Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to a video. I've got files opening as we speak. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I think it's almost done. Hopefully everyone's doing well. It is Wednesday morning and uh, I'm ready to rock. We're going to do Mark Silvestri, The Darkness. The Darkness. Mark is hands down one of my favorite pencilers and comics. We're going to go into full screen mode in just a second. We're going to get this out of the way. Carlos mode. Carlos, what's up? <laughs> Someone recommended that I use full screen mode more. I was going very big, but full screen mode is more attractive. So it was a good recommendation. And Farben, I would have gone and done the other thing that you recommended, but um, I'm running Windows 8.1. I have way too much stuff installed on my computer to be fucking around with like updating to Windows 10 just in case. So that's why I didn't do it. Um, all right, so Mark Silvestri. I first saw his work on Cyberforce absolutely blew me away it was probably my favorite of the core image books besides spawn um i did love wetworks but wolves had family emergency going on at the time and so wetworks was stuttered quite a bit but mark was very very slow on cyberforce too it took a long time for the first four issues to come out or at least it felt that way um but he is just an incredible artist you can just see it in his work there's i mean He's got like a natural ability and eye for drawing that you just almost can't learn, honestly. People can get very, very good. I know I've kind of discussed this in passing gestures, but Mark is one of those guys with, <clears throat> he's got the magic touch. Um, and, uh, you know, you can learn a lot from Mark, and uh, it's just incredible. And I have a huge, huge run of his work. Honestly, I have his Submariner stuff. He's done a bunch of King Conan way back. Um, uh, oh, man, there's all kinds of weird, like, little things you can find. And he's always been really, really good. You know, there's a few there's a few kind of, you know, where he looks maybe like he's kind of learning more. But it didn't take him long. But anyway, we'll get to the storytelling pages here in just a second. So this is the cover for three, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful colors. This is, uh, I guess, for, for, for Chow, for Cow. I think it's for cow. I could be wrong. And bat, incredible inker. Um, I mean, you just can't go wrong with these guys. I was going to do Lady Mechanica this morning. I will do it maybe this afternoon. Um, people have been asking for Benitez. We can do Weapon Zero if you have a, a preference between the two. I was going to do the first Lady Mechanica series. I don't want to do anything too recent just to not um, disrespect Joe's... Um, you know, current, uh, you know, I mean, I want him to be able to sell books and not be posting things um, that are brand new. Try to avoid that um, and go back. But uh, yeah, so this is a great series. Mark is, he's fantastic with, you know, um, lighting things. He's great with uh, figure drawing. His drapery is, is just incredible. Um, you know, it, it's like, it's so kinetic and just so wild. And, uh, He's got it all. He really, really does. Beautiful colors. God damn, that's great. This is a very, very cool shot. One of my favorite issues that they did was when all the image guys switched and Mark did um, that one issue of Spawn. I know, Kitty, you like Spawn too? I agree. I thought it was great. I bought like six copies of it the day it came out. It was so awesome. <laughs> I was like, this shit is fire. Everyone's going to want this one day. <clears throat> so I, I bought many. This is really cool. Great. I love seeing, you see how he turned sort of the angles on these chimneys. It's like, this This is like at its own perspective, but it's very, very cool. But that makes it interesting, you know? It doesn't feel super stiff, even though most of this stuff is going back to like sort of one vanishing point. If you check me out on Patreon, you can get kind of more nuts and bolts. And as soon as uh, another week or two, when things settle down, I will get back to like the perspective videos and also all the figure drawing and stuff that we were doing. But uh, it's just a little distracting. But thank you for your patience, patrons. And uh, you got two videos yesterday, so uh, there'll be more coming um, probably tomorrow. I'll, I'll upload another two. Um, this is great. Man, his little, his little darkness beasties are so cool. Um, he draws great thugs too. Man, that's so cool. I I always say whenever I bring up Mark in any of these videos, I really don't know him. I've I've met him briefly, maybe two times. I don't think he has any idea who I am. Um, <laughs> <coughs> once was at a party like a million years ago. 
Um, and uh, I don't even know what the other time was. I know there was a second time that I met him, but yeah, it's it's like I've I've I inked one demo piece just to show people had asked like what it would look like if I inked Mark and cited a piece. Um, Mark does use assistance, so occasionally when he gets in a pinch, <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise me if this is not Mark. Um, this doesn't look like Mark. We'll move through this stuff quick because uh, like that looks a tiny bit more like Mark. Um, we'll get to the good stuff here, but yeah, unfortunately. Top Cow did suffer from assistant syndrome as they moved on. It's just one of those things. Anyone that was following their books knows what I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of the core best pencilers seem to have trouble keeping up with their schedules. And so uh, it wasn't uncommon to see, you know, three to five assistants listed for every book, both with pencils and inks, which is a shame, but it gets the job done too. I mean, you know, the first three issues of this book looked to me like it was Mark, and then I, there may have even been assistants doing that stuff. I'm not knocking him. I'm just saying it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. And some of the assistants are really good and went on to do their own thing, so, you know. But <laughs> it's a funny face, but it does look like Mark. Like, And sometimes like guys like Mark will, like, this looks like Benitez might have done finishes. I'm just speculating. But this looks a little like Joe, and Mark might, may have laid this out. I'm not saying that it is, but like this isn't Mark. So we'll, we'll, we'll just kind of hustle through this and get to the ones that I know are Mark. This is probably issue four or five. Yeah, like, that's definitely Mark. We already saw this piece, though, but... <clears throat> Even this doesn't look like Mark to me. That's not Mark. Not Mark. Yeah, these are just Mark layouts. That's not Mark. <laughs> like I said, we're gonna, oh, that's a really, really cool layout though. And this does kind of look more like Mark stuff. This might have been inked from the thumbnail, the breakdown. Like, like uh, Bat and, Bat and uh, Joe Weems both can draw quite well, so it's not like they couldn't do finishes over this stuff beautiful colors again it's just gorgeous and don't worry we've got tons of pages to look at that are marked so don't sweat the don't sweat the petty things <laughs> and don't pet the sweaty things right you know what i'm saying that's cool right oh man that is awesome Woo, look at that this looks like mark you can just tell it's like it's like someone trying to finish a frazetta drawing and believe it or not, I, 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 I'm not saying that Mark is at Frazetta's level, but he could be. He could have been. Um, that's how good I think Mark is. And I think Frazetta is one of the greatest like fantasy artists of all time. But Mark has that ability. Um, these look a little a little sketchy there. This is so awesome, though. <clears throat> America... Hopefully everyone's staying cool out there. I had to run to the grocery store this morning. It was a little a little sketchy. There was a couple of people wearing gas masks, lots of gloves. And I'm friends with a lot of the people that work at the store. I feel very bad for them. They have to work during this time and put their health at risk. But I appreciate them. And I said thank you many times as I saw them in the store. It's cool. It's nice. Yeah, he does great thugs. He does really, really attractive women. His heroes look heroic. He can render the shit out of stuff. It's all so awesome. That's great. We should definitely do Brandon Peterson at some point. 100%. He's so good. We could do Misery. And um, we'll do Medieval Spawn Witchblade. And that will be good. That's really cool. <clears throat> That's awesome. Look at that lighting on that. So good. Oh, man, look at that. That is cool. You can just see the level of confidence in this stuff, you know, and uh, there's just no denying when you've got Mark on the money. Man, dude is so good. His pencils are great, too. If you just see the pencil work, it's fantastic. But these inks are so badass. It's, like, just incredible. <laughs> a little dude right there. He's got a little, little dress shirt on. He's a fancy demon. Look at this guy. 
and then the hotties. That's so cool. Damn, I haven't seen this in a while. Yes, even that looks a little weird. This is cool. It's a nice shot, man. That upshot is great. That's nice, nice, nice. Beautiful colors again. Damn, so nice. Love this coppery into those little blues right there. Very, very nice. Very nice. And so the ink assist, the, usually they list the penciling assist in the comics, but uh, I would say that there was some sneaking in here and there. Oh man, look at that. Woo, that is sweet. We'll zoom in on this in a sec. Let's just take it all in first. Look at that. That is so nice. Man, the colors are great. Furcow actually does have a gnome on um, how to color series. Um, it's worth checking out. He's maybe not the best teacher of all the Nomon things that I've seen. I didn't get that into the Nomon comic book series of videos, but I, I was a big proponent of Nomon overall. I think that they've done some really, really incredible stuff. The comic ones are good. The Finch ones are interesting. Um, Steven Platt has one. Weems did an inking one. Um, I think Joe Benitez has one too. I had a subscription to Nomon a few years ago. I can't remember how long ago it was now, but uh, yeah, I got a year subscription for like 300 and something bucks, and uh, it was cool. You know, it gives you full access to, they used to break it down into three categories. So you could do um, concept art, it was like concept and traditional, digital or 3D, and I went for the, um, you know, the one that was traditional and concept art. It was cool, it was fun. There was sort of a mad dash at the end of the year to watch all the videos, though, because I had forgot, or not forgot, but you know what I mean? You kind of put it off for, like, six months and don't use it. And then you're like, ah, shit. Yes, that doesn't look like Mark. That's cool. Nice figure. Man, so, so awesome. That is chunky. Love his torso. Look at that. That guy's getting ripped apart. Damn. I, God, like reading that in a script, it's like darkness grabs this dude and rips his skeleton out from his body. There's a lot of ways to do it, but I approve of this way. <laughs> I like this, like his skin is just like, it's like wrapping, like looks like a, a shirt you'd put away or something. This is great. Man, that is so gnarly. Perfection. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like Mark. All that hatching. Oh man, look at that. That's so cool. Chunk. Man, there's a lot of like decapitation and uh, <laughs> disemboweling. <laughs> It's cool. Oh um, man, he does this stuff so good. Like people shooting pool and in biker bars, and that's <laughs> funny. And his his goons are always so great. Oh yeah, this is awesome. This doesn't look like Mark to me, or doesn't or the inks or someone else or something. This is cool. Yeah, these look like Mark's layouts. This is definitely Mark. Maybe not the buildings, though. Man, that is so kick-ass. Look at that. Woo, that's a nice city. Mark did the Hulk. And supposedly he's working on a Batman thing. Someday that'll come out. And that, I think, is all Mark. Like, I think he's penciling and inking it himself. But, uh, yeah, that thing has been a long time coming. I think I honestly I think he's been working on it for five or six years. This could be his Bernie Wrights and Frankenstein moment. That's great, and it's really solid, really really good. Here we go. This is gonna get into the good stuff. The first, like I said, the first two or three issues is looks more like Mark to me. It's more seamless if the if there is a blend. He always draws the most attractive women. They're so good looking. That's cool. 
Look at those wings. It's crazy. Like I said, mandatory issue is you have to know how to draw wings if you work the top cow. And scallopy armor. This is cool. Again, just really, really attractive girls. He's got that down. That's cool. Man, look at that. Ooh, that is nice. Cool horns. That's great. Man, she's so cool. I love the figure. God, that's great. Look how far he moved her her hips from the upper torso. And this torque here is really good, too. And this is awesome. He's so good at this. That ripped fabric drapery thing. And this is nice. Yeah, when you're as good as him, it's tough to actually blend other people's work in with his. That's a nice shot. Again, her her hips are turned one way and her torso is another. It really, really looks good. He cranked it. This guy's awesome. He's good at black suits, too, with the, like the suggestion of white. This is great. That face is so good. This is nice. I don't know. I don't really remember this page. I've looked at these books a million times. This is some of my favorite stuff that he did. I just wish that he did more of it. This is a great establishing shot panel. Man, it's nice. You know, I, I'm thinking that this was Turner. I think Turner did a couple of pages in this. I kind of remember that, and I'm nearly sure that this is Mike. Or Mike and Mark something like that that's funny but yeah it just occurred to me speculation on my part to be clear not fact but I vaguely remember that Mike did I think one page in the book or maybe two something. this is awesome we're going to get into the really good stuff now the stuff is start. we're starting to hit the, the gold vein towards the front of the run man that's so awesome Oh, this is such a great spread. <clears throat> Man, that is money right there. That's so freaking good. Dude, look at that. I'll read comic books that look like this all day. I'll buy them in the droves. Look at that. Dude, come on. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, it could, but this is damn good. <laughs> like him. This is kind of funny, though, him running. I know, Kitty. You like Mark Silvestri, too. Right? Is he your favorite image artist? Yes or no? Okay, I'll open this for you. He's sad. Don't be sad, Jackie. Hotties. Oh, it's I like how he he'll draw like the bikinis and he doesn't connect the lines. Like this on her butt. That's a nice touch. Thong, the thong, thong, thong. These comics in some ways actually do look a little tiny bit better. That face is weird. Um uh look better on paper than these digital files. The digital files really enhance the color, but there's something about the line art on the paper that looks good. This guy's so cool. He's got to clean up a messy mess. She's hot. And that is badass figure. God, that dude is just beefy. And these dudes are awesome. That's cool. Oh, man, look at that. That is so cool. That is great, too. This is awesome. Bam. Jackie. It's got the hottie. Can still get a little bit of a John B. Sema vibe in, in um, Mark's stuff at times. I think he's assimilated it over the years pretty well, but it's still there, and it, and it looks great. I mean, it's definitely a foundational uh, thing in his work that really makes it, like, exceptionally kick-ass. That's 
This is so good. The sequence is so gnarly. God damn it. Look at that. He does great monster designs too, these like cybernetic monster things. This is so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Finch started off like a beast on Ascension. This, some of this stuff reminds me a little bit of, of Finch's Ascension work. Finch was kind of getting into Travis at that point, so you could see a heavy Travis influence on it. But it's the same deal. Like, three issues into Ascension, Finch just checked out, and it's like he does the covers and some of the pages, and it's a bunch of fill in stuff. It's really, really difficult. I mean, you almost have to just kind of cherry pick the series at that point. But uh, it was an unfortunate. Um, pattern that top cow seemed to suffer from unfortunately but uh it was what it was this is all really good this is all from what i would guess is mark with maybe like minor assists backgrounds and little things but that's really good go jackie go yeah this looks better in the comic though it's like that slick the slick kind of reproduction is cool but not it doesn't there's a little bit of a vibe that the paper that they had it on kind of gave. This is cool. Face is great. Man, that rendering is so perfect. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. That is great. <laughs> so cool. I love little panels like this. It just totally serves the story. You move through it quick. It's efficient for the artist. This is awesome. This is a great, great shot too. Kind of has a little bit of a Buscema feel. Like the Wolverine. Man, Mark killed it on Wolverine too. This is great. It's very pretty. Pretty, pretty. This is cool. I like how they colored this. This is great. Top box. That would be Mark. He is that man. That's cool. I like how you lit the anatomy. That's nice. Cool cave. And here he comes. The darkness. We see him. His little troublemakers. The darkness and the troublemakers. Oh man, that is great. Oh god, his. I have the hardcover about five feet away from me of his new X Men work. Oh my god, that stuff is so good. You know, let's actually. We'll look at that tonight. We'll look at new X Men from Mark tonight. And we'll do Benitez tomorrow. Now I'm wanting to see more Mark, and that stuff is good, good shit. I'll probably do the digital files, though I do like how much we can zoom in on this stuff, and it's a pretty efficient way for me to record these videos, so um, it, it definitely helps. But I do have the hardcover of it. It's a slightly oversized, too. It's nice. This is cool. Man, his outfit's great. He's a swashbuckling fool. We got the hotties. He's like thinking. He's like, hmm. Should we go to the club or should we stay in? He's like, stay in. <laughs> okay, we are getting that. This is nice. So you could pass something like this off to an assistant and just be like, I'll draw a bunch of cloaked dudes and then I'll light it. That's where I would use an assistant. No. I always like this guy's face. <clears throat> the lighting is cool too. A little bit of blue under lighting hitting his planes. The kind of, I guess the lower planes. I was going to say top planes, but top planes would be above. It's nice too. Man, it's very subtle. It's great. Very cute. Very cute. America. What are you doing, Jackie? Miss Hoven. Oh, yeah. That guy's cool. What's he all about? 
like this too. It's like a bat with like antlers. That is really neat. It's a battle Pretty. That's a really, really cool figure. Man, you draw sexy girls. Oh, yeah. Those are long rendering lines here. I'd be French curving some of these long ones. Although they're not super long right here. But in here, you kind of get in the danger zone a little bit. If it, the ones that go like all the way, that's a long line to throw. And then have uh, many that would fade. And someone mentioned Mike Turner uses CDs uh, for circles on his pages. I can spot that. I said that in my reply to you, but it's a very distinct shape and size, and I didn't see very many in Fathom. I was talking about stuff like this and him using ellipses. You didn't seem to agree with what I was saying, but <clears throat> I mean, it's I've, I've inked so many circles and ellipses. Honestly, I can generally just guess exactly what size it is if I was going to use a template. So... It's funny because the, the big circle template versus the smaller one that has all the small ones and some big ones, there's one circle that is on the big template and I can always tell when I see that someone's used it. It's really funny because I, I don't keep the big circle template out generally. This is a great page. But yeah, when I see that one, I'm like, Baklo used to use it a lot and I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna have to grab that other template. Sometimes I'll freehand, I'm like, honestly, if there was like a, a, a moon shape here, um, if it's if it's not I don't know some there's certain sizes that are very very easy to do freehanded people on patreon know they've seen me do it I've, I've done enough inking demos it's like it depends on what it is you know you can go in and like I mean this was all freehanded you can just tell they might have used an ellipse like right in here a little bit but you have to understand as a professional artist you're, you're doing uh, hundreds and hundreds of drawings it, it's like we're so i mean we're you know we're like professional athlete artists it's, it's like you know that's what we kind of get paid to do so <clears throat> oh man this is awesome but you could all get there too if you're not a pro don't sweat it it's like you know do a thousand pages and see where you're at then i mean it's like <laughs> I was saying in another video, I've done probably close to 7,000 pages of inks. That's pretty nuts, but it's not a far-fetched number. And it's probably more, honestly, not inks, but just in general, because I draw a lot on the side. So if you combine the two, I'm sure I'm probably close to, who knows, eight or 9,000 things. It's a lot of practice. A lot of practice. <laughs> this is such a great page. I love this. But yeah, just, you know, that's why I tell people don't get fussy about your work early on because it's going to improve. You just have to you just have to do it, you know, don't sweat it, you know, put in the reps, do your time and uh, just make sure you're improving. Not you don't have to improve daily, but like every three or four months, if you're seeing improvement, that's great. And just stay on course because it's a marathon. It ain't a sprint. I'll assure you of that. Anyone that loves to draw wants to do it probably for the rest of their life, right? So just get to it. These are awesome. That's my encouragement for the day. You can do it. I believe in you. Even if you're a total beginner and just want to do it, you got to do it. <laughs> pick up a pencil or pick up a pen and get moving. This is such a great page. I really like this guy. He looks like an art collector that I know. It's funny. Whenever I see him, it makes me think of him. This is cool. Oh, man, look at that. Can't go wrong with the double page spread. We'll zoom in more in a sec. Let's just soak the whole thing in first. Man, that is great. So badass! Look at that. Ain't going hard yet, as I say. Let's really soak it in. Man, that is so cool. Look at the colors on that are so great. Man, he looks like he was just having a blast. This is all really, really cool. This is great. Man, 
Talk about inspiring. This is so freaking cool. It's awesome. Oh man, I forgot about this. I love this spread too. Dude, Mark does this so good. Peterson. Brandon Peterson. Brando. He's so he's so talented too. Skilled. These are great. And what it's a really cool design. Fiery ladies. Oh yeah, that crazy goo coming out of him. That's such a distinct color. <laughs> it's like, man. Like poo green. Poo green. These guys don't even know what they're in store for. Look at that. That is such a killer little silhouette of this dude coming in. This is great too. He really suggests the um, the armor cool and then the fabric. It's like it's it it has a tiny bit of a different vibe, even though um God that's so great right there. Fuck. I mean he hardly drew the gun. If you look, it's just sort of like a weird shape, but it's like you don't really care. It's not what you're focused on. The boot's cool too. Damn, Mark. So damn good. Look at that. That's such a great panel. I actually bought some X-Men pages that Mark did that were similar to this. They were like more, I would call them pedestrian pages, where it's like the X-Men weren't on it. But they were drawn by Mark and they were nice. And they were so cheap at the time. I was getting them on eBay from one seller for like 30 bucks a page. I bought like six of them just because I wanted to own Mark Silvestri art. And it was very affordable. They were cool, but one of them was a bedroom with a phone and all this kind of stuff on it. Occasionally when I see the X-Men issues and I see them, I'm like, I used to own that page. I sold them after a while. I had them for a few years and then I was kind of over it. I'm not much. I'm not really an art collector. I would be, but my tastes are too expensive. You ain't going to get a Frazetta for cheap. <laughs> Jackie. Look at him. Yeah, his thugs are so great. This is a great little panel. Cool colors, too. It's fun. Yeah, it's nice. So much talent. Man, the inks are great. The colors are great. The pencils are amazing. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that. It's really, really cool. Cool inking. And I'm sure it was a very, very cool pencil drawing. God, can you imagine what that looked like in pencils? That is all so badass. Well, I think we've looked at some really fun art. This is... its I'm going to miss doing two videos a day when the whole COVID-19 thing is over. <laughs> no. It'll be okay. We'll still do videos, but just uh, two a day is a lot. Yeah, that's so cool. Boobs. Look, she's like, meh. Hottie. And Jackie's like, let's go. Look at that. He's really good at that at exterior of the bar, and the colors are really fun. It's got a very, like, liquid kind of vibe to it. It's like splotchy, but I like it. Looks works for me. His folds on his clothing are really cool. Yeah, it's great. And the way that the color moves through this page is awesome too. It gets like warmer, cooler, and then this is just nice. He really he actually kind of does move you through the page with the color if you look. It's quite clever. Oh man, this is great. I forgot about this. That face is so rendery. <laughs> Coming of age. Blam. Great pants. Oh, yeah. This guy is having a bad, bad day. Look at that. Capullo did a great shot of Sam and Twitch in a spawn issue. That's one of my favorite like people pulling guns drawing ever. Kind of in the 70s, 80s, I think. 
uh, not the year, but like the issues, somewhere in there. It's really cool. I think it's a two-page spread with some panels across the bottom. But yeah, it's Sam and Twitch, they're kind of facing this direction, holding guns. And it's like, man, he fucking hit it out of the ballpark. This is nice, man. Great attention to detail. That looks like a parking garage. In fact, it kind of looks like uh, Wildstorm's old parking garage. <laughs> it's like the elevators would be right there, and I'd be going up to work for the day. Is that it? We could be getting to the end. There could be a zero in here. I'm the hero. Zero, the hero. If you know that Sabbath song, cheers to you, friend. Oh man, that's cool. His little mountains of monsters is always really, really nice. Nicey, spicy. That's cool. Jacket. Hmm. Uh, kind of looks like Mark. Kind of doesn't. It's weird. It's like got a little bit of a weird sort of thing going on. That is so good, though. God damn, look at that freaking city. This is cool. It always makes me think of um, Wildcats, number one, where the guy gets his head shoved in the spaghetti. Is this it? This might be it. All right, well, hopefully that was fun. And, uh, yeah, you know, you got to see sort of the inside of the darkness. And uh, I would highly, highly recommend picking up these comics and... Um, their uh, original comic book form. I'm sure they're not that expensive or, or get like an omnibus or something like that because uh, they really do look great on paper. It's it's definitely worth having them. The digital files are nice, but it's not as good as the comic. So, all right, have a great day. I'll talk to you all later and uh, be safe out there. All right, bye.